Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Steph Koza and I'm here with another bullet journal spread of the month video. And this video is very special because we're heading into the new year of 2018, starting in January, and that means we're getting rid of this. New year, new journal. New year, new me. Actually, I lied. I'm gonna show you a flip through of my December spread to show you how it turned out, and then we're gonna throw that journal away. <laughs> Okay, December, December, what a month. I will say I absolutely love the way that this mood tracker turned out. I think it's absolutely stunning. However, I kind of got confused by it. While it's very pretty and aesthetically pleasing, it's not very practical and it's kind of confusing and doesn't really make sense. It's hard to tell which day is which, especially as it gets further and further out. You just, I didn't number anything, so. It kind of just turned into a coloring book page after a while. And then my habit tracker is the same as always, though I'm thinking I'm gonna change it up this month. I'm getting kind of sick of coloring in little squares every day. Next, on to my expenses and my Christmas gifts. This was pretty standard, and I've blurred out pretty much everything because I have all my Christmas gifts on here, and if people see what I bought them, that's gonna be very unfortunate for me. Also low-key ashamed of how much money I spent this Christmas, and I don't wanna tell anyone. <laughs> and then my weekly spreads. I actually, to be honest, didn't use my journal that much this month. As you can see, it's kind of blank. I think it's just because it's the holiday season and I was traveling a lot, I was very busy, but now it's on to the new journal. This is my new bullet journal and I'm very excited about it. The journal that I have is very similar to the journal that I used for 2017, which was a Leich term, Leich term. I think you have to say it with a lot of phlegm, Leich. Ugh, term. So for this video, I'm actually gonna be setting up my whole journal, not just January, but all the stuff that I refer to all year round. So on the first page, I like to put sticky notes and things that I can pull from at any given time whenever I need them. It's just nice to have like a little supply of things. Then, skipping a few pages later, I am going to add a little 2018 cover page. So I'm just taking a piece of scrapbook paper, I cut it to the right size, and I'm just gonna draw 2018 on it, and then I'm gonna add my New Year's resolutions all over the page, just for a little inspiration. Next is my future log. Your future log is pretty much just your calendar for the year. It's a nice place to write down any event that you have in the future at any time throughout the year. Like if you're planning a big vacation and it's four months away, but you still need to write it down. It's just nice to see every month, the whole year in one nice, neat place. So here is where I like to put my lists. I have a lot of lists that I keep throughout the year and it's just nice to have a solid place for them. So the first page is a books to read page and I kind of like them to look cool. I, I think it's just more fun. Obviously you can make it look however you want, but for me, I'm gonna make it look like a bookshelf and it's gonna have a bunch of empty books with no titles. And as I discover more books, I can just write them in on the spine. And after I read them, I'm gonna color them in. So hopefully by the end of the year, I'll have a fully colored page of books that I've read. Then I'm doing the same thing with music. I'm just drawing a bunch of vinyl records and I'll fill them in as I go. The next list is my movies to watch page. I'm just gonna draw a bunch of film reels. And my last list is my TV shows list. I kind of got a little bit lazy when I got to this page. I was a little tired of drawing, so I just made a big box and turned it into a TV. And that's where I will just dump all of the TV shows that I want to watch. Now we are moving on to January, the first month of 2018. But I wanted to go for a bit more of a structured calendar, a little bit different than any other calendar I've ever made. Very boxy, kind of minimalist, but with a little bit of flair. So in my last video, I asked you guys what theme you thought I should go with for the month of January and the winning theme that a lot of people suggested was a New Year's theme with fireworks and gold and confetti, so that's what we're doing this month. Next is my mood tracker. The runner-up theme for this month that I did get some suggestions for was hot cocoa and warm and cozy snow and stuff like that. So for my mood tracker, I decided to go with a cup of steaming hot cocoa, and I'm going to track my days through the little 
squiggles of steam. I think that'll look really cool, just like a rainbow of steam. Next is my habit tracker, and I decided to go with a little bit of a different theme this month, and I also cut down my habits because every month I have a ton of habits to track, and it ends up just being an annoying task to do every day. It just kind of ends up annoying me more than helping me. So I narrowed it down to four habits this month. Now, since this is a new journal, I kind of wanted to re-explain everything to you guys in case some of you don't really know what these things are because I have gotten comments in the past where people don't know how to use a mood tracker or a habit tracker. So basically, these are just ways to keep track of how you're doing throughout the month. And you can kind of take note of where your weaknesses are, where your strengths are, and just kind of work on yourself. So for example, in the mood tracker, in this case, I have a little string of steam for every day of the month. So I have 31 lines. And at the bottom of my cup, I have a little color guide of my moods to choose from. So if I'm feeling very sad that day, I'll color it dark brown. And if I'm feeling really happy that day, I'll color it bright red. And if my mood is somewhere in the middle, I color it somewhere in the middle. So then at the end of the month, I can look back and see generally how I was feeling that month and reflect on that, I guess. And then for the habit tracker, I have a box for every day of the month. Each one is numbered to make it a little bit easier. And it's essentially like a checklist. So every day, if I completed these tasks or these habits, I color in that box. And then at the end of the month, I can see how well I did. I have never filled in every box, never in my life. <laughs> Next is my expenses page. Pretty much looks the same every month, but if you're new to this. This is basically exactly what it sounds like. It's a place to write down my expenses to keep track of my money and make sure I don't just blow all of my money because I do that a lot. And then I didn't really know what to do on the other page so I just took this little piece of cardstock paper that I cut out of like a scrapbook thing and I stuck it on the page. Then on the next page I decided to do something a little bit different this month. I am really into coloring books. I find it very relaxing. <laughs> so I took a page from a coloring book that kind of fit my theme. It's very snowy, wintry. I cut it out and I put it down and I can just color whenever I feel like it. Also, I get a lot of comments about what this magical tool is that I'm using, <laughs> which is this. This is my favorite thing. I highly recommend it. It'll change your life. I don't even know what it's called. It's called glue tape. Got it on Amazon for like $4, but it is the best invention Ever. And then on the other page, I just put another piece of that cardstock paper to just add some notes, kind of like a little brain dump page, because every once in a while, you just need to write something down, you have nowhere to put it. <laughs> All right, onto my weekly spreads. So like I said, this month is very boxy. I'm into the box thing. I don't really know why, it's just, what I'm feeling right now. And I just decided to add a bunch of fireworks and stars and confetti to go with my whole New Year's theme, especially since this is the first week of January. I'm going a little crazy with the fireworks. It's fine, everything's fine. And then my next few pages are a little bit simpler because I don't want it to be too elaborate. I don't wanna to have to take too much time to do this because this is supposed to organize my life, not take up a ridiculous amount of time in my life because the reason I have this journal is because I don't have a lot of time. So I'm going with a little bit more of a minimalist theme this month and maybe for the rest of the year, I don't really know. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll do a whole month with just a strictly minimalist theme, no color, nothing, just easy, but still aesthetically pleasing. It has to be aesthetically pleasing. That's the whole point. Anyways, that is it for my January monthly spread. I hope you guys liked it. And thank you guys so much for contributing that awesome New Year's Eve theme. I had a lot of fun creating it. I really like the way that it looks. Let me know what you guys think I should do for February's theme. And I will see you guys next month. Bye.